there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September 19, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. Most of central Alabama will stay dry through the weekend and through midweek, but we could see some rain from Beta over parts of the area on Thursday. We'll get to that in just a minute. With much of central Alabama staying dry until Thursday and the rain moving back out of the area for the most part on Friday, the latest QPF from the National Weather Service's Weather Prediction Center shows totals of one quarter to three quarters of an inch for much of the area south of I-20, with totals less than one quarter of an inch north of the interstate. With the lack of any shower or thunderstorm activity, no severe storms are expected across central Alabama on Saturday and on Sunday. But we do have some watches and warnings out there on the map, but not for central Alabama. We see a tropical storm watch up for the western half of the Louisiana Gulf Coast and just over to the extreme eastern Texas coast, while a hurricane watch is up for the coast west of that. Coastal flood watches are up as well in those same locations. Now let's get to the forecast and the GFS as we'll start off with the 0Z run of the GFS valid at 4 p.m. Saturday will feature a good bit of clouds and only a little bit of sunshine throughout the day as we'll have a southwesterly flow bringing those clouds up from Tropical Storm Beta. We'll stay dry across much of central Alabama with only a very small chance of an isolated shower south of I-20. Highs will be in the mid to upper 70s. Cloud cover will stick around through Sunday, but we'll lose that small chance of showers as all of central Alabama will be dry and mild. Highs will be in the upper 70s to right at 80 degrees. A reinforcing shot of cooler and drier air will move into central Alabama for Monday as high pressure sets up to our north-northeast, but we'll not lose the clouds. Highs will be in the lower to mid 70s. It will be the same story for Tuesday as well, mostly cloudy skies with very little sunshine. Highs will be in the lower to mid 70s. At this point, we look to stay dry throughout much of Wednesday, but tropical moisture from Beta will be moving into the southwestern and southern parts of the area during the evening and spreading northward during the overnight hours. North of I-20 looks to stay dry with rain possible south of the interstate. Highs will be in the upper 70s to right around 80 degrees. Rain doesn't look like it will make it up north past I-20 on Thursday, with rain being likely for the southern half of the area. Even though it doesn't show rain for the northern half, I can't help but put a chance in the forecast. No matter what, it will be a cloudy and gray day. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. Much of central Alabama will remain dry on Friday, but a stray isolated shower or two may be possible. The good news is we'll see a decent bit of sunshine, Afternoon highs will be warmer, up in the lower to mid 80s. Now let's get to the tropics as they remain very busy. Storm surge and hurricane watches have been issued for much of the Texas coast, while our tropical storm watch is issued to as far east as Morgan City, Louisiana, as tropical storm beta will be moving just offshore along the coastline. The center was located about 305 miles east of the mouth of the Rio Grande and was moving north-northeast at 12 miles per hour. A slow westward motion is expected to begin late Saturday, with a slow northwestward motion forecast to begin late Sunday and continue through late Monday. On the forecast track, the center of beta will slowly approach the Texas coast into early next week. Maximum winds were at 60 miles per hour with higher gusts, and beta is expected to strengthen into a hurricane by Sunday. Storm surge could reach as high as 1 to 3 feet to 2 to 4 feet along the Texas coast to as far east as Morgan City. Rough surf is expected along the Texas-Louisiana coast, with larger waves reaching as far away as the Alabama and western Florida Panhandle Gulf Coast. Life-threatening rip currents can be expected along much of the northern and western Gulf Coast through at least Friday. Now Category 4 Hurricane Teddy continues on the path that will take it very close to the island of Bermuda, which is still recovering from Paulette, moving over within the past week. Winds were at 130 miles per hour and movement was to the northwest at 13 miles per hour. The eye was located around 730 miles to the southeast of Bermuda. This general motion is expected to continue for the next day or so. 
followed by a turn toward the north late this weekend. On the forecast track, Teddy will be approaching Bermuda late Sunday or early Monday. Some fluctuations in intensity are likely through Saturday with a weakening trend forecast to begin on Sunday. A tropical storm watch has been issued for all of Bermuda as tropical storm conditions will start to affect the island on Sunday. Teddy will become extra tropical by Tuesday morning and may move onshore over Nova Scotia on Tuesday evening, still at hurricane strength. Now the center of poorly organized Wilfred was located about 830 miles to the west southwest of the Cabo Verde Islands and moving to the west northwest at 18 miles per hour. Winds were at 40 miles per hour and some slight strengthening is possible Saturday before weakening likely begins by Sunday. No change in direction is expected over the next few days and it is currently no threat to any land. Post tropical cyclone Paulette is located near the western Azores. The cyclone is forecast to move southward for the next couple of days and then stall over marginally warm waters with around a few hundred miles south of the Azores by the end of the weekend. The cyclone could redevelop tropical characteristics late this weekend or early next week while it moves little. Uh, formation chance through the next five days is medium around 40 percent. Another tropical wave is forecast to move off the west coast of Africa by early Saturday. Some slow development of the system will be possible thereafter while it moves generally west northwestward over the far eastern Atlantic. Formation chance over the next five days is low right around 20 percent. Whew! That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.